All right. Nancy Cheswick would not be here if America's Constitution had not allowed her persecuted Jewish grandparents and father to immigrate. She could not have imagined what lay ahead when she left her small Illinois town for Smith College, nor when she joined the Foreign Service and went to India and later lived in Paris during the 1968 riots. After earning a PhD in psychology, marriage led her to State College. She worked in public health for Center County, student health for Penn State, and led a private practice psychology group for 40 years. With five other providers, she envisioned and built the Meadows Psychiatric Center. She also serves on the boards of the Sklo Library Foundation, the Palmer Museum of Art, and Center County United Way. Dr. Chiswick is a member of several groups that support democracy. In 2017, she helped organize the local Constitution Day event, celebrating our U.S. Constitution. Her focus is the 19th Amendment, which gave her grandmother the right to vote. Dr. Cheswick has the white dress that her grandmother wore in the early 1900s protest marches and displays it proudly at annual events. She urges everyone to join this fall celebration making our voices heard. Dr. Nancy Cheswick, Volunteer of the Year for Constitution Day. Congratulations. I can see most of you. I want to first thank you all. This is a great honor and I'm so happy to be here and to share a passion of mine with all of you. I want to let you know that you're all invited. This year's nonpartisan Constitution Day celebration is Saturday afternoon, September 14th, at the Nittany American Legion in State College. This year is more important than ever. We are seeing both encouraging and worrisome happenings in America. Will democracy survive? Does our Constitution have the tools we need to help us work together? What compromises do we need to make? be a part of helping to figure it out. During the COVID pandemic in 2020, we could not host a celebration in person, but we created videos on the Constitution for the public. I introduced one video celebrating the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment giving the right to vote to women. I proudly wore the white dress my grandmother wore in the early 1900s when she was marching for women's voting rights. My grandmother didn't get to vote until she was 32. Um, other local women joined me in that video, and the fight for women's rights continues today. You can watch all videos on our Constitution Day YouTube channel linked on our website, www.constitutiondaycenter.org. Thank you. I want to thank the board of uh, Constitution Day, including Vicki Fong, Dave Hutchinson, Margie Swoboda, Mary Watson, Jim Leos, Wayne Litz, and Celeste Alfieri for nominating me and to the Rose Cologne Foundation for organizing this outstanding community event. I'm humbled to be counted among you.